car to go by. While you're telling me your name and your uh, position, I'll give you a sound check, so go ahead. I'm Rob Edwardson, Assemblyman for District 2 in Juneau. Well, there's been a few highlights uh, to my term so far, no matter how short it is so far. Uh, the first is uh, just noting the dedication of the current assembly members, the, the ones that I joined on the assembly. The other was the dedication and the hard work of the staff. But the really, um, I, I don't know if it's surprising or if it's just gratifying, the number of Juno citizens that help with their opinions, with their input and uh, with their feelings on certain matters. Awesome. What made you decide to run <clears throat> in the last race? Actually, I decided fairly late to run in the last race, and the reason that I ran is I wanted to make sure that the assembly was a welcome place to the people of Juno and uh, try to make sure, do what I can to make sure that uh, they felt like their issues were heard and that uh, their voices were going to be considered in the decision making. Mm -hmm. What's the highlight of your term been so far? The highlight of my term so far, uh, there's been three. One is to join the dedicated uh, assembly members that were on the assembly when I got there. Two is um, Two is the hard work of the staff of the city and borough of Juneau. And three is that it's gratifying to know that the citizens of Juneau so willingly partake in the public process. Uh, I decided to run, I think, in about May of uh, 2017. And the reason was I wanted to make sure that the citizens of Juneau felt like they were able to come into the chambers uh, to email, to call me, and to voice their concerns about the way, the direction that they think that Juno should be heading. Okay, I'll hurry up. Uh, the, the, the litigation with $250,000 to the cruise ship industry, what, what's your take on that? I can't talk about the case specifically, but I can say it's ongoing litigation, and we need to, needed to be able to make sure that the court costs could be covered uh, up until whatever the final conclusion is going to be. It may not cost $250,000, but um, there needed to be a little bit of a reserve so we could make sure that it was paid. Well, I'll go into the municipal issues that I'm most concerned about, and that's the same as when I was campaigning just a few months ago. Homelessness, um, the opioid epidemic, and jobs for Juneau. Um, I think uh, I'm going through the budget process with the rest of the assembly, and that's where I'm going to try to, to fine-tune what it is that I would like to see as ordinances. So maybe I'll submit them, maybe I'll support somebody else's, but as long as I head towards those goals then I'm in favor of them. Awesome. So what is on the assemblies in the in their future? Uh, in the near future, obviously, we have our budget process coming up. This will be my first budget process with the assembly. So I'm really looking forward to that. I'm studying previous budgets. Uh, the, the, another thing that's coming up is uh, we're, we'll be voting on uh, whether or not to adopt a renewable energy strategy. I know our Commission on Sustainability has worked very hard on that for uh, several years. And the other thing that we'll be voting on will be the Mendenhall River Area Plan, which will be part of the comprehensive plan and making sure that good decisions are made in the development of the city.